The eye anchor is a tool that you can use to add security when you're moving through terrain on skis. Now, there's some strengths and limitations to the eye anchor that are important to know about. The main benefit of the eye anchor is it's quite fast to set up and also to take down. So in the flow of a guided day, if you need to add security by using an anchor and the rope, it's a way to do that efficiently without having to, to slow your whole day down. The main limitation of an eye anchor is its holding strength. So it doesn't have as much holding strength as a T-slot. So we need to make sure that if you're using an eye anchor, that you're doing it in application, that the anchor is gonna be strong enough to hold the load you're anticipating. To build an eye anchor, you could just take both skis and shove them in the snow. However, if you have a ski that's got some tail rocker or even a twin tip, then when you do that, they might force themselves apart. So I'm gonna show a way that works uh, with any shaped ski. First, I'm gonna take one of the skis I'm going to tip the angle back and rotate the ski, shove it all the way in. Notice that it's got quite a, an angle tipped back, so it's not vertical. And I'm going to take the second ski, line it up, and slide it in, ideally, until I can feel the brakes locking. I can add a ski strap to make sure that these skis are going to stay in line. I don't want them to scissor and accidentally expose an edge. I'm going to use a clove hitch around the skis. I'm going to slide it down as low as I can for my anchor point. I've got my anchor set up. I have the angle tipped back from the slope. The edges are flush. I've got a clove hitch for the sling and I'm ready to bring my skier in. This is an anchor that has limited holding strength, so I want to put my body into the system. I don't want to put the, I don't want to have the load going directly off the anchor in this situation. So I'm going to clip in. You ready, Mike? I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> Come down just to right here. Okay. Stay there for me. Thank you. All right, go ahead and clip that into your locker. You in and locked? Yep. Awesome. So now, before you move, what I've got here is the anchor tension to my harness. It's in the belay loop here. And then tension right to Mike. So there isn't any slack in the system. Okay. Mike, go ahead and slide so you're just below me. So now the whole system has tension. Mike is in the fall line and I can give him a belay and added security as he goes down. All right, go ahead. The way this anchor fails is the skis actually lever up and out. So another way I can add strength to this anchor if there's somebody else around is they can actually place their hand on the top of the skis and prevent that from occurring. So I think it would be good to, if you want to bounce on it. That's all on the anchor right there. Well, take your hand off it first, Farmer, so you can see it flexing with, without. Pretty good pretty anchor. Strong. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then if you can place a hand on the top, then it's even stronger. The eye anchor is a great way to quickly add security when you're traveling downhill or if you're moving uphill, it can be great there as well. The main limitation is that it doesn't hold a lot. So you want to make sure that when you're applying it, it's strong enough for your anticipated load. To add security, you can put your body into the system. So if there's another person, you can also have them put their hand on top of the eye anchor.